Today I'm going to have a tutorial for using Atlanta to plan your uh, CCD observations using a field of view overlay. Now I have the Aladdin website up here and it's a piece of software I've been using for a while that is pretty flexible and uh, powerful and uh, you can see the URL up here. Uh, a lot of professional astronomers use it for planning uh, their observing runs and other things. So here we have the Aladdin software. This area right here is where the images are catalog results are shown. Up here at the top is a location bar and in there you can do things like enter RA deck coordinates or an object name and then Aladdin will go out and grab uh, data associated with that object. Now in this case I'm going to do M81 and what it did is it went out resolved the uh, M81 to its RA and deck and then it loaded a colorized version of the deep sky survey plates and put it in a layer over here called DSS colored. Now it's fairly zoomed in and I can use this zoom bar right here to zoom out. So I'm going to zoom out until I can see M81 and M82 comfortably. Now M82 is up here a little bit off the screen so I'm going to switch to pan mode just pull everything onto the screen and go back to select mode and just zoom out a nudge more. So all we've done up to now is just load an image of our target uh, objects. Now to plan an observation you need to figure out how to frame those objects within the field of view of your telescope CCD combination and in online there's several sites that can help you compute the field of view for your given combination. Now what we're going to do here is first we have to load what's called an instrument field of view file and that's under file here load instrument field of view. Now you can see when we did that the coordinates for our object are already loaded here in the target line and below it are a list of instrument setups that Aladdin already knows about but as you can see these are mostly professional telescopes we need to create a custom configuration for our telescope CCD combination and that's what this option right here where it says create your own so you can click on that it's going to go out and launch a what's called a footprint editor uh, on the Aladdin website now there's a lot of options up here we're not going to worry about. What we're going to do is we want to create a new rectangle. Now that rectangle is going to represent the field of view of our imaging uh, setup. So we click on new rectangle and a rectangle appears right here. And then over here are the properties. We don't have to worry about the X and Y but what we do want to change are the width and the height. Now you notice those are given in arc seconds. So I'm going to create a setup where it's uh, one degree wide, 3600 arc seconds, <clears throat> and 2400 arc seconds or 40 arc minutes high. Now after we do that we hit apply. Now that field of view is larger than this view so we just hit zoom out and we can see we have something that's 60 arc minutes by 40 arc minutes now. So now that we've defined a field of view, we need to hit save. And it's going to ask us to come up with a file name. So it's going to call it footprint.vot. <coughs> you can rename that to anything you want, but I'm just going to stick to the default. Now over here, you can see in that directory it's appeared. Now I'm going to edit that file so you can see what it looks like. It's a very simple file. And the part we're interested in is this upper section. Here's the ID for our footprint which is the same as our field of view. And then down here we define the name of the telescope, the name of the instrument, and some other things. For our 
purposes. All we need to do is change the telescope here. I'm going to pretend like we're using a C8 and we're going to be using a Canon Rebel. So all I did was change the telescope name and instrument name. I left everything else the same. <clears throat> if you look down here, you can see where a polygon is being defined. And here's the actual dimension. So that's minus half a degree. And that's uh, 20 arc minutes. So this is drawing a, a rectangle. So if you want to and you ever need to change it, you can go in here and just edit these values yourself. But for now, we're going to leave everything as it is. I'm save this file. Go back to this dialog down here in Aladdin. It allows us to load an instrument field of view. Now we've defined it on disk and we use this create your own option to create it. Now you click load it and go to your directory where you have the file and you select the file and you'll see the very first line now says instrument Canon Rebel telescope is C8 and then here's the generic defaults that it left in for the description and author. So this is our definition for a Canon Rebel on a C8. And you can load this at any time, even if you quit Aladdin and come back later, that file will be there and you can always reload that instrument field of view this way. So I'm going to go back here and bring our Aladdin window with M81 and M82 back to the foreground. Now within this instrument field of view screen, you select a line by clicking on it, it'll turn blue, and then at the very bottom there's an option called Submit. When you hit that Submit button, it's going to overlay that rectangle we define, which is one degree by 40 arc minutes, on top of the existing image. And over here you can see it created a layer called My Footprint. Now. Uh, the way the la this is set up right now, obviously this would not work because we can't get both objects in there. So what you can do is you can grab the very corner and the cursor will turn into a little circular cursor. It doesn't show up on this recording, but you'll see it if you grab it in the exact corner and click and start to turn as you're holding a button down, you can rotate it to any angle you want. Now if you grab a side, not a corner, and click, the cursor will be a hand and you can slide this thing slide this thing around where you want it. I'm going to go back and rotate it a little bit and slide it and you can get that however you want it to be. So now we've defined for our camera field of view a framing that will get both objects. Now what you want to do now is click on this layer for the footprint or the field of view we define. Right click, go down to properties. I'm going to pull this over here. This dialog shows the properties of our field of view. You can change the color, whatever you want it to be. I always find yellow pretty easy to see. It tells you the RA and the deck of the center of that field of view and it tells you the roll angle. This is the angle on the sky that you would have to rotate your camera to in order to get this uh, framing. And then lastly something I like to do is I like this opacity is basically how filled in that box is. I like to set it very low so there's just the box and no interior fill. And hit apply. So the final step for me usually is now to take a screenshot with the property window up and the image with the overlay on it. And then I'll save that. And then when I'm out in the field imaging, I can pull this up and quickly get the RA deck and roll angle as well as a preview of what it should look like. So this concludes my tutorial on using Aladdin to plan a CCD observation.